Southern California. Cheryl and I are at our Aunt Anna's house, as most of you know, and uh, we are uh, still working and helping her and taking care of her. Of course, PJ's here, our nephew that's doing a phenomenal job and making things look terrific too, outside especially. Of course, he's, he's a professional gardener and uh, he's had, had his own company in Florida. So he's here and doing his magic, whatever, to make this place look fantastic. And I, I appreciate him so much. A lot of you have been in comments about his work behind the camera, and he does do a great work. Don't you, PJ? I do. Now, come on. <laughs> Be humble about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Well, anyway, uh, we're here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I was a little under the weather. I'm going to be honest with you. The last time that we filmed was uh, last Friday. I had to take the weekend off. So, uh, talked to the doctor today, and uh, she gave me some medication. Uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm feeling better tonight, but um, I was getting a little dizzy walking around. So, I won't give you the details of what's wrong with me, but it's not serious. I'm going to be fine. But I got to go to the restroom a lot. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. Okay, guys. We're so much like family, I'm going to tell you everything. We all suffer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, God is good, and he's blessed us abundantly, even through this, this virus. You know, how many of you do you testify? As a matter of fact, I, I want you, I, I, I want to know if you're even on. Just say something. I'm here, or thank you, or I like what you did, and care for that arrangement of chariots, whatever, go back to the old one. Just whatever you want to say and ask. If you have a prayer request, be sure, if anything, re request that prayer, whatever your, your 
need is, whatever you're asking for, uh, whatever it is, financially, physically, mentally, uh, uh, I don't know, you may have some relative that has disappeared, it could be a daughter or a son, but I'll tell you what, prayer is powerful. Prayer changes things. And again, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir because you guys know that. But isn't it wonderful that we have a family that comes together? Like right now, I know we have some women that surely, know, and some men out there too, that really know how to pray. They know how to touch the throne of God. Oh, I, got, I got to tell you, Kenneth Copeland, I'm sure you, you know Kenneth, and Kenneth and Gloria are dear friends of Cheryl uh, and I, and, uh, and we, uh, we cherish their, their, their friendship. They've been so generous to our ministry and to ministries around the world. Well, one day I, we went to the, one of his big uh, conferences and he asked me to play for him. You know, he sings, he has a great voice. And I'm not quite sure exactly what that song was, but I'll tell you what, it was anointed. Wow, I accompanied him and I felt the anointing, he did too. Then after the conference, he comes up to me and says, Dino, I for the first time felt as I was singing, I was, I touched the throne of God. I said, Kenneth, wow, that's pretty awesome. Wouldn't, isn't it, wouldn't it be wonderful that we could all touch it, that our relationship with God is that connected that we could touch his throne and feel the power of God in our lives? And I'll tell you what, it brought the house down. People felt that they prayed and exalted the Lord and said hallelujah. It was powerful. It was, as I said, there's nothing like the anointing. I would never go out on the platform. I would never go anywhere to perform unless I know that it's not just me playing. Oh yeah, you can, you can practice and work on the technique. You know there are thousands and thousands of pianists that are, that are amazing. They, they can play circles around me. I mean it. And then admire that talent. But I'd rather have, I'd rather make mistakes with the anointing than be able to be perfect. Although I, I strive for, for perfection, that's why I practice as much as I can. Of course, lately, here at Aunt Dada's, you know, we've been working a lot, but we got this nice little spinet piano with the Yamaha that God supplied for us. And, uh, and I think it sounds pretty good considering. It goes out of, out, of, out of pitch a lot, but that's okay. The way I play, anything goes out of pitch. I play so hard. But I also like to play...
thank you so much for watching once again. I look forward to seeing you. And again, all that peace music that you received in the mail, if you haven't yet, that means you haven't bought them. <laughs> and if you haven't even bought them, then you better call us and let us know because they should be there by now. <clears throat> the second series and the first series. You go to bransoncakes.com. <clears throat> and Cheryl Knight, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you so much. I got choked on this last song because it's so meaningful to me. Because that's what I pray for when I play the piano. Precious Lord, take my hand and just use them to minister to people to minister to you. And I believe we have ministered to you tonight. I need you to just take his hand and just walk with him and talk with him and have that fellowship with Jesus. is. We come to you, no matter small or large. You care for every little thing in our lives. Thank you, Father. And as they folks play my music, when I'm gone off Facebook and they play that piece of music, whatever CD they receive, I pray that they will feel that same love and comfort as we feel right now. Okay, tomorrow night is Tuesday. You know, that means Cheryl's going to be on the Tuesday night. And uh, she's got a word for you. She always does from the Word of God. I appreciate that. She is a Bible lady, that's for sure. And uh, really feeds me and helps me too. So God bless you. And we're going to keep praying for you. Keep praying for us, Lord. Just uh, pray for us. I, I called you Lord, but I was talking to the Lord too. That, uh, that he will supply our needs. And you know, I don't have to tell you that uh, because these past seven, eight weeks we have been here locked down and still they're saying uh, you better stay home and we're going to adhere to that because we, we, don't, want, we don't want to uh, be close to any of that virus. You know, that's a smart thing to do. But those who have sent us donations you, and you know how to do it, you go to, you go to bransoncakes.com and there's a place there where you can send a little gift. So it doesn't have to be much. Whatever God lays in your heart, you'd appreciate it, okay? I love you very much. Cheryl says hi, and she's not, she's really not with us tonight right now, but she will be with us tomorrow night. Be prepared to see my beautiful lady, Cheryl. Okay? Love you. Bye.